Well, the newest thing that I'm working on is actually a few video ideas, but anything I like come to see. Let me talk about that. Maybe you did, I don't know. But besides that, I was also doing was actually working on a 3D modeling software called Des Studio 4. <sighs> it's it's a little bit different than what I'm used to, which is a 3D Studio, the original one, and then their update afterwards, which was called 3D Studio Max, which happened to be a yeah, for Windows, actually. Uh, yeah. So, Daz Studio 4. I'm still trying to get used to it. So, this is what I've done so far. I've done was uh, made a, basically made a copy of uh, the Genesis 3 female form. It's a dub file, and I saved it as the name of uh, Sa uh, Sashka. And I did was a little tweaking alterization. And then I did was uh, resave the file. At, well, after I did finish the tweaking, you know, as Sashka, and then I did was saved it again as an export. Well, the export file I'm going to do is some more tweaking in Blender. See if I can do anything with Blender. My whole plan is actually to do is make Sashka more um, anatomically correct. And then, yeah, and then probably re yeah, and then send it back to, you know, save it, in, you know, after I finish in Blender and then back into yeah, 3D Studio. Then some more little edits there, and we say if everything works out, I'll just save it as the new uh, uh, figure. A Sashka, but uh, Sashka 2 or whatever, you know. Whatever. The updated formula, so she's more anatomically correct. Uh, that would be the first, you know, doing all that. And then if I do it good enough, yeah, it's going to, you know, be continuing editing. So I would actually make the character known as uh, well actually it's based off a real person figure and her her screen name is, is uh, summer cummings yeah uh, i will put an image at the end of what summer cummings look like and that's actually what i'm trying to do is model the character so i could actually probably put it on a On the DAS site, or even, uh, <laughs> even uh, I'll do that, you know, DAS 3D, you know, try to put it up there, you know, submit it. Uh, if I get everything right. <laughs> yeah, and then also do is uh, export it on to see if I can actually put it in the second line. <sighs> Which. I think I have to save it as an object format. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. See what works. Oh well. Then I have to do is design of new clothes. But the figure I think would be a little bit easier for right now to do than go straight for clothing design. I wanna try to at least get the the uh, just soft go looking exactly right the way I want her to look and then from there it will be modified further so it'll look more like you know some uh, summer comings and yeah try to make it more realistic also try to do is get uh, 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. I don't know. I'm just a little tired. Um. Oh yeah, the other thing that I've tried doing as well, and I've actually succeeded. I created was one pose. It took me a while to tweak it, but I did that so I can just get used to uh, the system. And plus. I was doing it last night, and the only thing I used was that little touchpad that they have on on the laptop. You know, for your mouse thingy. It was like, I hate that fucking damn thing. But, because I'm used to an actual, you know, mouse. So, it worked all pretty well. It wasn't that bad. So, it worked out. I was able to get the pose just right. And then I had to do was reset everything, you know, like my uh, view on purpose. So I would get like a better picture. Um, yeah, that pose, I'm going to make a whole mess of the this first one. You, well, it's uh, not safe for work as it were involved. Okay, it, it's pornographic it is the pose, okay? So I'm gonna make a few more poses, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna of these uh you know graphic of you know a sexual acts will not go into jazz. No, I will not send it to them because no, it's not in their interest or whatever, you know, they're against that. It's against the rules. What I plan on doing is uh, Oh. Well, uh, maybe get a site and put it up on there. I'll let you know what I do with it. But I'll have to make this a few more, you know, for the female character and the male character. And then I'll make this a male character more anatomically correct. Yeah. And for all those people that are in uh, the Futanari. I'll actually make a Futanari character that's, you know, anatomically correct, you know. The ones that you see, like, in anime. They're actual pure Futanari, you know, characters. Because I know there's a lot of um, people out there that want to have uh, characters like that. So I figured if I do use a, a Futanari character that would be, you know, anatomically correct, that would be... If I can get it on Daz 3D, hey, at least it'll be something that, you know, the, the public would maybe want. <laughs> oh, whatever. Mm. So they can do their little hentai animes, you know, you know with 3D modeling and whatever. Yeah. And... All I have is, yeah, the anatomically correct male character. I'll try to put him on Daz as well. So, because I already know what people are doing with their characters. So I figured if I do as a full anatomically correct character, have it up there, you know, of male and female, it would be something that people would really want. I think so. Because I've seen, you know, that some of the people out there in the community is making, you know, basically uh, pornographic or hentai you know, pictures or animations. But they're just using the standardized character form, which has, uh, well, basically it's not anatomically correct whatsoever. It's basically, you know... Barbie dolls. Yeah. No nipples, no genitalia. <laughs> On either, either male nor female, you know, so. It's like, okay. Uh, you know, because I did was search on Daz. And, you know, Daz, Daz 3D, Daz Studio 4, all that shit. And I got, like, images that were also, you know, pornographic. Because with... In my searches, I always have it set to, you know, the filters off, you know, no, um, 
no safety. I have that turn off because sometimes it flags things as pornographic even though it's not. But yeah. Even though, in, like, let's say it's medical or, you know, whatever. I just was trying to look for, you know, information on, you know, how to design characters, you know, because I was uh, starting out, so I just got this, you know, a few days ago, really, but it's not the first time I heard of Daz. I've heard of uh, this operating, uh, well, it's not obviously, it was uh, software. I've heard of it since, I'd say, like, around 2009 or so, 10 or 9 or uh, around there, but I didn't bother to download it because at the time I didn't have a working computer, I didn't have a computer of my own, I was using somebody else's but I can't, you know, download software onto somebody else's computer so I really couldn't do shit, you know, it really sucked at that period. You can see how bad it was for me just by looking at my old earlier videos, which, yeah, I had was a shitty camera. A really shitty one that actually finally did break up on me, so. Yeah. So, you're wondering, why is this have to do with the life of a long ago? Well, what I'm going to do is make a few more characters. I'm trying to do this first project, you know, just seeing how Daz works and seeing if I can get Sashka to look, you know, the way I want and uh, have it, uh, have that character working right, you know, the figure or act or whatever the hell. You know, have it fully on, anatomically correct. And then uh, later on, all I'll do is make a whole mess of characters, you know, any of them, you know, male and female. That there would be. Well, I don't really need a whole series of anatomically correct characters. Now, these ones will probably just be not. Will be, you know, a software like Genesis 3. Because oh. I'm, I'm planning on doing is making a whole mess of uh, clothing line and whatever. But I, uh, you know, but I want them on Daz to be, you know, freebies. Like, you know, just like, on a, you know, forever a freebie. Because I really don't want money for some of this stuff, you know. Like, certain things, you know, like the basic form, or whatever, you know, I do is probably create, like, basic design for, you know, for a shirt or whatever that will fit a Genesis 3 character. So what people could do is take my basic form where it's fitted. Plus I have to do is make some fitted clothes for uh, Sashka and also the you know, well, what's going to be the anatomically correct Sashka and also the anatomically correct uh, male character, whatever I'm going to name him. Whenever I make it, I'll have to make some like basic, you know, clothing designs and then and then make, uh, you know, uh, edits, like, in fabric design. But I'll have, like, a whole mess of the basic fabrics, whatever. So, yeah. I have a whole mess, so I would have, like, a... Yeah. With, like, if I do it just right, if I get it right, I want to... If I do end up selling it on Daz, that would be cool, but... I prefer just like some of the first stuff, just probably, you know, have it up for free for a while. Who knows? Um, other things I'm going to end up doing is creating more characters that are going to be basically based off of uh, my mangas. So I'm going to do is do that and then pose them and then have the camera just, you know, the camera's right for the different scenes and basically take photos, you know, render the shots and then resize it so it'll be a, you know, a manga as it were, you know, I'd create manga pages, you know, and I just have, <laughs> like, a, you know, a, 
a 3D version of, you know, but kind of looking realistic or... I was also thinking about, you know, Dune was making cosplay characters, as it were, you know, costumes and stuff like that where from different animes, but more based off of the cosplayers that I've seen in Anime Expo and stuff, and other conventions. Yeah. <laughs> so I could do is have printouts and stuff of actual people and when I see them again, give them uh, the picture. <laughs> Here you are. Or, you know. So that, you know, maybe like next year, if I'm, if I get everything done and get looking right, I could probably do is, because my whole thing was actually to do is create a portfolio. So, yeah. So that's about it. And yeah, I'm going overboard. Till next time. Ciao.